happy saturday you guys good morning welcome back to another vlog i decided to vlog today for honestly no apparent reason besides the fact that it has been raining for like five days straight in minnesota and it's made me bored it's made me tired i've been kind of in a rut a little bit gloomy vibes and we're gonna switch it around i woke up today and i'm like you know what I can't let the weather affect my mood so much, so I'm gonna vlog. Vlogging makes me happy, and I know you guys love when I post vlogs, just like random days of my life, especially when I have no specific like layout or plan for the day. I find that's always when I have the most fun, you know? This coffee is hitting me like a truck. Like seriously, it is affecting me actually a ton because I have not had coffee in a minute which i'm proud of myself i usually have probably like two things of iced coffee a day usually and i was too lazy to go get some at the store for a while but today i did it and i'm proud of myself because damn that is just like hitting right so anyways yeah i really don't have too much going on today i figured it'd be good to get in the spring vibe a little bit even though it's literally so cold out today and it hasn't been this cold in a while which is kind of weird for minnesota because usually it's cold all the time but we went through a streak of it being so incredibly warm and i freaking love that because i love the sun like i need my vitamin d daily dose of it and we're kind of blocking it right now so we're gonna do some fun things today i honestly don't know what but i kind of just want to like revamp my life for a new season the springtime and just i've been doing a lot of shopping recently like holy i need to chill when the weather is shitty out i just gravitate towards my laptop do a little googling find some cute outfits and add to cart and then yeah it's kind of a problem right now i'm just so into it this year's like spring fashion trends that it's been really hard for me to cut back but on that note, I guess that means today I should definitely clean up my closet. So I'm gonna write that down because I'm gonna attempt to have a productive day today in some sort of way. Because like I mentioned, for the past few days, I've just been laying in bed. I mean, nothing wrong with that, but I feel like I've just been doing unproductive things while laying in my bed. So we're gonna get it done. Maybe I'll go to Home Goods in a little bit. Haven't been there in a minute, but let me tell you guys, Home Goods and Target. Mm, they're like my favorite stores. So that might be the plan. All right, you guys, I decided it was the best way to start off my day by cleaning up my closet because I know by the end of the day, I'm gonna have no motivation to do it. So we're gonna dive into my closet in just a bit. I do have some clothes already hanging on the door. Those are just clothes that I'm gonna use for a upcoming spring fashion related video. And not to mention, they also do not fit in my closet. So that just goes to show you guys, I got some decluttering to do and I've done this like a few weeks ago, but it was just like a very brief kind of scan through my closet, get rid of things that I know I'm not gonna wear. And one of my favorite things about cleaning up my closet is that I can actually sell the items that I'm no longer gonna wear to you guys. And I love using Poshmark to buy and sell clothes. It's such an easy app to use. I've used it forever, you guys know that, because I feel like I'm always cleaning up my closet in my vlogs or just like, going through my clothes and that kind of thing and I just love to upload photos right on Poshmark. It's so simple. You just take a picture of the item that you're selling and then fill out a little description and the sizing, everything like that and put a price on it and then people can just buy it from you. They have so many different brands, literally you name it and you can just easily search it in Poshmark. They have Lululemon, Nike, Adidas, like seriously probably some of your favorite brands and I just think it's a great way to find some new clothes and really just get rid of your own stuff as well. So it's amazing. Also, if you guys watched one of my recent vlogs, I'm currently on the hunt on Poshmark to find the Lululemon pink camo incognito leggings, the Align ones, because I have the sports bra and I want the matching leggings so badly. Super safe and easy way to buy and sell clothes. You guys should definitely check it out. I will have a link so you guys can download the Poshmark app down below as well as Shop My Closet. 
So we're gonna dive into my closet here and just get after it for a while. It's probably gonna take me a minute, but once I'm done, it's gonna feel great and I'm excited. <laughs> posting all of these clothes on Poshmark. There's quite a few things, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but like I said, I will have my Poshmark linked down below as well as a link for you guys to download the app and check out Poshmark. Feels good having all that decluttered. But now I'm gonna head out to Home Goods and do a little bit of shopping because as I said, I want to revamp my room a little bit. This is pretty much what we're working with. My room has looked like this ever since I moved in. My desk and like little makeup station is there. My bed is here and then like the little nightstand right here. And then also there's just like a bunch of random stuff here that I'm gonna bring home cause it's more like wintery and I don't really need that. Yeah, so this is my room. I ideally what I would do is like put my bed against the window like coming out, but then I don't know if there won't be like any walk space or anything. So I don't know, maybe we'll play around with it later. But I'm gonna go to Home Goods and I'll see you guys in a bit. You guys, it's like the least bit sunny out in any sort of way. Like, you know, I was complaining about how it's super cloudy out and stuff earlier. But I'm throwing on these sunglasses because my eyes feel so tired and droopy. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna hide the face, throw on these sunglasses, and call it a day. So that's what's happening. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have such a bad headache, or I don't feel like I know I have such a bad headache right now. I don't know what it is. I've drank all my water, eaten food. It cannot be from caffeine because, like it can't be from like lack of caffeine because I had coffee today. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it, I don't like it. Ooh. Speaking of caffeine, I've been off of my Celsius game recently and instead I've been drinking Alani News. I don't even know if I have any left right now. Do I? No, I have an Alani new protein shake. This, um, I really like their protein powder and their, what's it called? Little energy drinks. There are certain flavors that I just absolutely love and I think I like them more than Celsius right now. I know, shocker, ah, it's crazy. Okay, anyways, whew, I'm like out of breath right now, but I'm gonna go like I said, head to Marshalls, or not Marshalls, Home Goods, and Target, and just the vibe. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna go do. This is like what happens when I have no class or like no real work I have to get done. I do things that I shouldn't. Shopping. I know, guys, it's bad. I'm just trying to keep y'all entertained, okay? You know? Actually, you know what? I need to fix this headache, so I'm gonna make a little. Um, what's it called? Electrolyte stuff from, why am I blanking the name? Liquid IV, that's what it is. I seriously love Liquid IV. I'm not hungover, I honestly just <laughs> have a very bad headache and it could be lack of hydration because I did not drink a lot of water yesterday. But who knows, man. I'm gonna add a little fiber do this 
all the time. I posted on Instagram and I think I talked about this in a video recently. Get your daily fiber intake, people. It's literally so good. It tastes like Hawaii in a cup. We are on our way to run our errands, but I have this super toxic trait of letting my gas get as low as it can before I really need to go to the gas station and it's like SOS. So I have 20 miles left till empty. So we need to fill it up. And my camera battery is flashing. And there's a cop. Gosh, I need to go back home. I'm gonna fill up my gas get a car wash and then literally go back home and change out my battery because I'm like 0.5 miles away from my apartment so it's not a big deal but geez seeing that cop kind of whoo that scared me a little bit because my tabs on my car are expired so if I were to get pulled over for like speeding or something I would also get in trouble for my expired tabs because I keep saying I'm going to renew them and then I just forget, but it's so simple to do. I just keep putting it off. Anyways, we're gonna go get gas and then put a new battery in this thing because somehow, some way, it's already dying on me. Not cool, whatever. Why is getting gas like actually my least favorite and like what I fear doing? This guy's looking at me too. Every time I go to a gas station, I just say a quick prayer before I get out of my car because gas stations freak me out, check. Okay, I need to get out of here and get my gas. Pray for me. Update home goods was kind of a fail. I only found a pillow and I didn't end up getting it because the line was like 20 people long. So I figured for just a pillow, I'm not gonna wait in line, like I'll just go to Target. So I came here and I found two different comforters. I'm kind of indecisive which one I want. I might end up getting both and then trying them on my bed and seeing which one actually works. Cause I've come to the conclusion that I need to be done getting white comforters because it just Makes my room look so plain and boring and also they are so high maintenance. So I found this one and I just think it's cool like the velvet and also it's not like super super thick and warm which is nice because I want a comforter instead of a duvet because the duvet I have um, is like super feathery. So I think I want to do this one because it's just like different and then it's like reversible on this side and then this one is light pink which I really like because... It's just like a very subtle light pink too and I feel like this one's super obnoxious, like orange. So, I don't know. I might just get both, like I said, and see which one matches better. But I have to find like two pillows that I can get to go with these. So, it's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm back home and now I'm going to show you guys just a brief overview of like the couple of things I got from Target. So as you already saw, the two different comforters. Now that I have them both on my bed, I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one just because I really do like the orange color. It's not as bright as it looked like it was in store um, and it's more of like a burnty orange and I think the velvet is like super cute and unique. Then this throw pillow to go with this comforter and then this cool like leopard one to go with either of them and this pillow I love it's so big and just like so soft and obviously it would probably look better with the light pink comforter but I think it, it could like work with the orange one as well so we'll see but as I showed you guys earlier right now I just have this one from Nordstrom so I'm gonna sell 
the duvet cover on um, Poshmark along with the like little shams and stuff. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Also, this pillow kind of matches that a little bit. my room is all transformed I guess I did it all by myself I'm proud my bed wasn't actually that hard to move basically I just put it against the wall as planned and it worked out well I have my little makeup stand which is gonna act as like my nightstand I guess laundry which I don't love it there but that wall was just so plain and boring so I just needed to throw something there and I tried putting my mirror there and it just didn't work so love that kind of little setup and this is my bed loving the like crushed velvet comforter it's so cute i really like the orange and i totally think it helps kind of like add a little something to the room and then right there i just put my organizer which used to be my nightstand and i just think it's best there because i tried to put it in the walkway and it just looked way too out of place and if i put it here there's like no room to walk so this wall is just gonna stay plain. Even though I don't even live in New York, I feel like I live in a New York a size department with how, like, um, what's the word? Creative I have to get with my decorating. <laughs> um, and then obviously my mirror's right here. I really like it there, it's just next to my desk. So I'm actually pretty impressed with how it ended up turning out. I was not planning on totally transforming my room today. But it's fun to switch things up for the new season. I'm weird like that. So now I'm just going to shower up and wash my hair. I haven't actually washed my hair since either Tuesday or Wednesday. And obviously today's Saturday. Of course I've taken like showers and things in between. But I've been really focusing on training my hair and having it last longer between washes. Because that's obviously so healthy for your hair and... Yeah, so it actually looks not even that greasy at all. I've heard a lot of good benefits about training your hair and making it last longer in between washes. So that's a little side note, but I have plans with some friends later tonight. So in the meantime, like I said, I'm just going to shower and get ready for that, get some dinner, and then catch up with them later. But um, I think I'm going to get takeout tonight because I literally have like hardly any groceries i have like snacks and stuff but i need to do a grocery shop soon and i do not like grocery shopping on sundays because in tomorrow sunday because it's like chaos i like to go during the week when nobody's out and it's just not busy so anyways yeah i'm gonna just get some takeout tonight and treat myself to a nice probably a crisp and green salad because i haven't been there in a minute and it sounds so good so i just got out of the shower and you guys can tell I have a legit mountain on my face right now. I know it's just one day it's nothing to like flip out about. But I want to know if you guys have the same problem. Because I used to use makeup wipes, you all know. And supposedly, I, I mean I know they are like really bad for your skin. But I never had a problem with them. And I honestly liked them because it was simple and easy. But everybody was like, you need to start using a like melt away cleanser for your makeup. So like one of those balms. So I've been using the Drunk Elephant um, 
makeup melting butter cleanser and I really like it because it totally does get like all of my makeup off my face and then I use just the typical drunk elephant cleanser after and when I use a toner I realize there's like literally nothing left on the pad so it does a great job at getting all of my makeup off the only thing is I'm wondering if like you guys have also broken out from using a balm like this whether it's the Clinique like melt away one or this drunk elephant one because I used a um, like Burst, it's a brand at Target, Melt Away Balm, and I also broke out from it. So I'm like, is it just something that your skin needs to get used to, or should I go back to makeup wipes? Because, like I said, I really do love this, but if I'm not going to break out, I would rather use makeup wipes and then just go through the extra steps of really getting all of my makeup off, like, because it doesn't obviously do the best, but like, I don't know. I haven't broken out in a while even when I'm on my period I honestly don't get like hormonal breakouts that bad but this one is big like whatever but yeah I'm just curious like do you guys use makeup wipes do you use makeup melting balm things because I'm honestly considering like going back to makeup wipes as bad as that sounds but I really do love this stuff like it feels great on my skin but I think my skin might be too sensitive to like melt away balms is that a thing i'm not quite sure but that's just like what i've experienced so yeah but anyways um i'm gonna make my crisp and green order and then go pick up dinner that's my skincare chat of the day you guys know i love talking freaking skincare all day every day but i need to make my crisp and green order right now so I'm gonna do that and what else do I need to do? Obviously change, because I cannot go pick it up looking like this. I just picked up my salad and I just did a build your own so you guys can see right there what I got on it. Basically just mixed greens, kales. I wanted it to be a little bit spicier, so I got jalapeno lime dressing and then added like some pepperoncini and a bunch of veggies. And for a protein, I did shrimp. So that's my little salad. And I'm gonna eat this and probably watch some YouTube for a bit. Looks so good though, oh my gosh. Love. And then these drinks, you guys, I found them at Target the other day. So I had to give them a shot. I've been trying to find them everywhere. They were the poppy um, prebiotic sodas and they're so good. I love them way more than kombucha. They're just like easy to drink and sip. This is the watermelon flavor and I had the raspberry lemon one last night and they're amazing. I'm definitely gonna be stocking up and getting more. So I'm gonna just eat this and then watch a little bit of YouTube for a bit and yeah. I just picked up my Amazon packages from the mailroom and I wanted to show you guys what I got because I did a little mini Amazon haul the other day. So first up, I got these lavender colored Birkenstocks. And if you know me or you've been keeping up with the vlogs, this is like my favorite color right now. So I'm excited to wear these like literally all the time. And plus, because I wear a lot of white and black, I feel like these will go with so many of my outfits, especially in the summertime. So I picked up those and then also these Jack Roger jelly sandals. I just thought these would be a great staple, like nice classic sandal to just throw on with any kind of outfit. Um, and I really like them. I have Tory Burch sandals that are brown and I wear them all the time in the summer. So these are a good staple. And then I got this initial L necklace. I literally love the jewelry that Amazon sells. I have a similar one to this one, but it's like, you guys have seen me wear it a lot. It's like a medallion and it has an L in it and they are like my staple go-tos. And then chunky rings have been a huge trend recently. So of course I wanted to hop on it and just get some like nice gold chunky rings so i just got this set of like a variety pack and i really want to start wearing rings more i don't have any like cute ones that all look good together so i figured this set would be perfect and then 
these sunglasses, you guys. I'm so excited for them. They're so fun. I tried them on and I actually really like the way that they look on. I just thought it'd be a fun little accessory to spice up an outfit a little bit. I think they were like $12 or $13 or something. And I've seen them all over Pinterest. So I'm hopping on trends. I know I'm not starting trends, but I'm hopping on this trend. And I love, love, love it. I'm really getting into accessorizing my outfits more. So... That's my little Amazon haul. I'm going to end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have so many videos coming for you guys soon. A lot of ideas because I swear my mind does not shut off at night. So the past few nights I've just been collectively writing some video ideas down and planning some things. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Ooh.